This web, boss, and base tool can be useful for a profile that needs to follow a path. A simple example is a wire. You need two parts to create a swept feature, a profile, and a guide to follow. In this example, we will create a simple spring. First, we need to make a spiral path. Make a circle on the top plane. This circle will need to be the middle diameter of the spring coil. Next, go to the Curves tab and click Helix and Spiral, and then click the circle. Specify what you want the spiral defined by. For now, I will define it by the height and revolution. Let's make the spring 1 inch tall with 5 revolutions and have a start angle of 0 degrees. Now we must create a profile for the curve. Since the spiral ends touching the right plane, we can use that plane to create the profile on. If the end of your spiral was not touching an existing plane, you would have to create your own plane. Now, create the circle for the spring and dimension it. We must now pierce the circle to the guide. Hold down the shift key and click on the center of the circle, and click on the guide. Now, click on pierce. Exit the sketch and go to the feature tab. Click on the swept, boss, and base tool. If it is not already selected, click on the profile for the spring. Click on the spiral guide for the profile to follow. Finish the feature by clicking on the green check mark. If you would like to use multiple sketches and spiral lines as a guide curve, you will have to combine them as one curve. To do this, create all of the sketches you would like to be used. Then, go to the curves drop down and click on composite curve. Select all of the sketches and spirals you would like to be added and then press the green check mark. You can continue to create the swept boss the same way you did before. Now you have created two parts with the swept boss and base tool. This may come in handy when designing your FRC robot.